morning, Bethel family. Welcome to today's Convos and Coffee. Uh, today's a special day because we are going through a brand new study uh, called Faith in Action. And so we're doing a study of the book of James. And so today I'm just going to give you a little overview of who is the book written by, who is the book, the book for, and what is the purpose of this book in the Bible. So James... The book of James is written by James, but a funny thing that I found out is James in Hebrew is typically translated to Jacob, and so I don't know why it's not named the book of Jacob, uh, but here we are. So James is the brother of Jesus, the half-brother of Jesus, um, and we see and we read about him in Acts 12 and 15 or Galatians. Uh, chapters 1 and 2. And uh, James was a, a very prominent uh, leader in the mother church of Jerusalem. He was working in there and he was often considered, uh, Paul often called him the pillar uh, uh, of the church, but he was also known as a peacemaker in the church. And he often ministered to mess Messianic or Christian Jews. And so now that we know a little bit about James and um, now we know that uh, James, the book of James, was actually written to Jewish uh, Christians. Um, and so a little bit of context, a Jewish Christian is somebody who, who knows the word of God, who knows the law, who, who knows the Old Testament, um, but have now started following Jesus. And so James is writing it in a very specific way to bring along the Jewish Christian, uh, the, the one who's been in the church for a long time, uh, to, to bring a depth to their faith. And so the, the whole purpose of the book of James um, is, is James wants to actually get into your business and challenge the way that you live. Um, the book is laid out like a letter. There's a greeting at the beginning, but it's not at all like the letters that Paul wrote. Um, it's not a specific issue to a specific church, um, but it's actually a summary of wisdom for every community of, of, of followers of Jesus. So it's not just for the community that, that James specifically wrote it to, but it's also for the community uh, of you and I. And in James' writings, we see there's like he has two major influences in the way that how he writes his bo the book. And, and how he brings in certain themes. And we can see that he has, uh, he holds a, a lot of weight on uh, the Sermon on the Mount, which is in Matthew verses chapter, or sorry, Matthew chapter five to seven. Um, and he also brings in a lot of similarities to the book of Proverbs, specifically Proverbs one to nine, um, and pushes us to continue to love God and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Uh, and so chapters two verses five, two, sorry, chapters two and five, to, all the way to five, have short teachings about how to wholeheartedly uh, devote yourself to God. Um, each stand, each teaching stands alone, um, but also are connected through themes and words. Uh, but chapter one is kind of the introduction where it lays out all of the themes with little key words um, in the book to to kind of give us an understanding of where we're diving deeper into. And so um, James believes that life is hard, but he believes that, that trials and hardship can actually uh, teach us, can actually grow us uh, and endure and, and produce endurance and shape our character um, and helping us to become perfect. He uses this word a lot, perfect. Um, but what he means by this word perfect is to be whole, uh, to be complete, uh, to be in consistent actions with the words that God has taught us. So everything in the book of James is about our perspective. It is about uh, being completely uh, walking in faith and, and asking in faith for wisdom. Um, so that can be imparted on us to help us to walk through life, to choose trust over anxiety, to choose faith over doubt. And we can learn in our pain even more about God. 
And so through Jesus, we have the ability to live a new life. Um, and, and we shouldn't just be hearing the word, but we should also be doing and living out the word of God in our lives. And so um, just be encouraged as we walk into this new series that um, God can use our, our trials. He can use our hardship. He can produce a stronger character in our lives, but also um, can give us the ability and the wisdom to be doers of our faith, to not just listen, to not just believe, but then to go and live it out wholeheartedly. So Bethel family, get ready, uh, buckle in and get your notepads ready for these convos and coffee series coming up. So excited to be a part of your morning uh, today and I cannot wait to see you on Sunday. So remember Bethel family, you belong.